Did you say filet mignon? Yes, filet mignon. This is French for dainty filet, and here today at Canute's Meats, we're gonna be cutting up a whole filet mignon, just how we would for our meat case. We're gonna start with this big whole filet mignon. That's the butt portion, the middle, and the tail. And along here is the chain. Thank you Fleetwood Mac for such a great song. Now first we wanna be taking off some of this fascia here and this fat gristle, it's not gonna wind well. Right there is the silver skin below that. So we're just gonna take our time here to peel off some of this fat and gristle. Now right here is where the chain is connected. A lot of chefs and butchers can cut this off and they portion up a little bit nicer, but here today for our meat case, we're gonna leave the chain on for our meat case. So we're just taking our time again with a knife, cutting off chunks of fat. We want to thank Finn for this wonderful music in the background that he created himself, and Fleetwood Mac for helping us break the chain. So we can use some of these trims for making stews or making grind. Now we're getting here to the silver skin. This will not render when we're cooking, so we take our time with our knife gently under it and try to follow. You don't want to cut off too much meat, but you do want to take off all of that silver skin. It will not render when you cook, so take your time to get all the silver skin off. And ladies and gentlemen, we are almost there to portioning this big bad filet roast. So what the butchers usually take home is that right there, that's the filet tail. Now we're gonna be cutting in some portions from the smaller end. These are gonna be more around the four to six ounce portion for those people that are on a very dainty diet. I'm taking my time here, getting more of that fat off of the chain. And now we're gonna start portioning. So these are gonna be our smaller portions of the filet mignon. Now they're going to get increasingly a little bit bigger. That middle section, also called the Chateaubriand, is very good as a roast. These portions will be around 8 ounces, 9 ounces. And as we get into the butt tender there, which also makes a very nice filet roast, they're going to be a little bit bigger portions. I'm trimming off a little bit of extra fat that was on the bottom of this particular muscle. I think the chefs will really like that as they cook it up. You can also wrap your filet mignon in bacon. That's how we do it here in America. So it's all about portion control and if it's your New Year's resolution to maybe eat the best quality and not the most quantity, I highly recommend the filet mignon. You're looking at ounces. On average, one of these steaks runs probably 10 to 15 bucks from eight to 10 ounces, which isn't a bad price. You go eat filet at a restaurant, it's gonna be quite a bit more. Come into the butcher shop and get one. So this is our final tray of the filets. Let us know what your size is, and we will oblige to hypnotize you with our eyes. There's that filet mignon one more time. Thanks so much for watching. Check out our website, www.knutsonsmeats.com for more info, and stay tuned for more meaty episodes.